and good day, welcome back to One World Flyer. Before we go check in for our Etihad A380 flight, can I please ask you to spend two seconds of your life to press the subscribe and bell buttons so you know when I upload a new video again, which usually is every Thursday 12pm Hong Kong time. Check in for Etihad in Paris CDG is in Terminal 2C. Check in for economy class is unsurprisingly long because it's an A380 that we're flying. But I use the backdrop counter, which is a lot shorter, as I've checked in online. Unfortunately, we don't have lounge access today, so we went to a Starbucks near the train station for a quick bite and a cup of coffee. This flight status display board is one of the biggest and oldest I've seen in my life. My flight to Abu Dhabi is the first one up there. After a rather uncomfortable Etihad Dreamliner flight to London, I kind of wish I'm flying Emirates today, but let's find out if Etihad A380 is any better. I've just gone through immigration and security check, which was a lengthy process here at CDG, and then they'll force you to walk through the duty-free area, where I bought nothing but left some footprint. This is our gigantic plane to Abu Dhabi today, a three and a half year old Etihad A380 A6 APE. You can tell this is Etihad economy straight away because of this horrid state-of-the-art headrest. Every economy seat in Etihad A380 is 17 and a half inches wide and comes with a seat pitch of 31 inches, which is standard. Not the best out there. Emrex offers at least 32 and up to 34 inches of seat pitch. But when I do sit up straight, I still get plenty of room to swing my legs around. For aviation geeks, my seat today is 70A, a window seat with a nice view over the big big wing. A very very friendly reminder, don't sleep like that, you'll get a terrible neck pain. Other than that comfy looking headrest, you get a pillow, a blanket and also a headphone. Interestingly, there's no pin on the headphone, but magnets. Now to the seat features, you get a relatively large TV which can be adjusted in quite a big angle, which is great for super short and tall people. Next to the TV you get a USB port, coat, hook and a universal power socket. One thing I like about the power socket it is that it's obvious that it's there rather than under the seat. Here's a remote with a screen on it which can be used as a second TV. And then a tray table which can be folded and moved back and forth. Here's a cup holder. Seat pockets are divided into smaller pockets, thus enhancing storage space. 31 inches of leg room sounds a bit small on Etihad, but it kind of feels like 32 or 33 to me. Remember, smoking, including the supply trees, matches, or e cigarettes, is not allowed anywhere on board, including the toilets. Thank you. <laughs> it's zero degrees outside, and it feels like middle is here. I'm wearing a t-shirt right now and a cabin crew announced that our flight is getting delayed due to AC not working and some baggages are missing. Now very quickly let me show you the in-flight entertainment system. There's a great selection of new and old movies but Amrax definitely has more. But don't get me wrong, this is still very good. The touchscreen is very responsive to my fingers and the system is very easy to navigate. Despite this being a relatively new system, I'm surprised that the flight map isn't interactive. One lovely thing though, is that there are three cameras outside. One at the tail, one at the belly and one on the nose looking at the front. My name is Sunny and one of the crew member will be looking after you on this flight to Abu Dhabi. We hope that you've settled in and made yourself comfortable. For the members of the ATF guest program, welcome back. All electronic devices and mobile phones must be turned up for such a flight mode. Feel free to turn them back on once the passenger seat belt sign has been switched off. There are individual lights at your seat for when we dim the cabin lights. We recommend that you keep your elbows with you at all times. 
Please let us know if there is anything that we can do to make your flight more comfortable. Thank you. As soon as we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft, we should put up the hazard of the flight for the safety of the flight. Careful, don't drop your seat. Call friends around the world. No searching for Wi-Fi. Order a taxi and enjoy your trip. After the safety video, there are a few ads, but I don't mind it at all because my ticket is very cheap. There's Wi-Fi on board, but of course it's very expensive. We haven't taken off yet and I want to say already that the crew on this flight are very charming, welcoming and friendly. They were eating sandwich in the back galley during the delay while I was thirsty with an empty bottle. I asked one of them to fill it up for me and she happily did it for me. It's a one litre bottle and she said with a big smile on her face when she came back, that's enough for the whole flight. I said thank you, haha, she said you're welcome sir. On some other airlines the crew will get totally annoyed and blame me for not bringing water into the plane. Right now I would like to thank three of my patrons from 2018 who all voted that I should fly with Etihad. If you wish to support my channel and have a say of what flights or airlines I should fly and review, consider to be a patron of mine then. There's a link in my Patreon page in the description. You also get a welcome gift for being my patron. an Air France 777 on the top left hand corner. There's plenty of items in the seat pocket including a safety card, waste bag, in-flight shopping guide and Wi-Fi guide. There's also a menu, $3 for a cup of hot chocolate, $4 for popcorn which is free on cafe economy class. Thank you, next. This is to show you how much the seat can be reclined. In my opinion, the angle is quite big and comfortable. 
Meal service has already begun. Those who ordered special meals get to eat first. Others get bored and sleep. I'm terribly sorry that I forgot what you can order other than chicken. Anyway, the presentation looks nice. Here we have metal utensils and red wine. For food, there's my chicken with potato and veggies. It was really, really tasty. Salad, I think, was average, but my neighbour loved it and stole mine. There's also a bread and a cup of water. The highlight of this meal would have to be this blueberry cheese mousse. It was delicious, tasty, yummy, oishi. The same crew came back to clear the meal trays and offered everyone coffee or tea. I opted for tea. If chocolate was free, I would have gone for chocolate. I've watched at least two Etihad reviews on YouTube where people got into trouble for filming. But fortunately this isn't the case on today's flight and the crew are all very nice to me even some of them did see me filming around. This lavatory in the economy is one of the best I've been to. It's not huge but it looks so luxurious thanks to the marble wallpaper. It would be even better if it's got a window here like the A330. So while you have your map on the TV, you can have the gorgeous camera view on your remote. Because it's a day flight, most passengers aren't sleeping right now. Some people, just like me, are filming around, taking photos. I mean, it's quite a scenic flight. There's mood lighting on board, it's nice to have it because it doesn't get instantly bright when it's time to eat or land. An Arabic chicken wrap is served before landing. It's too dry in my opinion and a little bit spicy. I overheard a passenger complaining to the crew about the wrap. The crew response was that Etihad is fully aware that passengers don't like it, but they must serve something Arabic on board. Low. Another thing that's not so cool about Etihad is that the crew collect headphones before landing and whatever is on your screen will be switched into ads. Now that we're almost landing, let's conclude this Etihad A380 flight right here, right now. I haven't mentioned this earlier in the video, but some of the Etihad ground staff at Paris were unfriendly and rude, but some of them were totally opposite and were really nice to me. The crew on board EY32 were all very friendly and helpful. The first meal was delightful, but second was meh. The entertainment system offers a great selection of movies and live news, and I'm sure you won't get bored. The seat was actually comfortable for this time, compared to my dreamliner flight to London. 
it must have been the seat width, I guess. One thing to note, if your economy class ticket is a cheap one, by that I mean not flexible, you have to pay for seat selection even during online check-in. Seats are only free to be selected within 24 hours before takeoff, but by that time most seats are blocked or passengers have been assigned to unwanted seats during online check-in. And note, same thing applies to Etihad's frequent flyer. For this trip Hong Kong to London and Paris to Hong Kong all via Abu Dhabi, I paid 4,900 Hong Kong dollars which was really a bargain so I don't have anything to complain and I honestly quite enjoyed this A380 flight with Etihad. Dear Captain speaking, please remain seated uh, for the moment until we get an external power source uh, connected to the aircraft and we're able to complete the shutdown procedures. Just remain seated, thank you. So now, thank you very much for joining me on this flight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video, comment anything you like, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.